All right, y'all. Got a new state. Drove half night to get here. We watched the last show. I got in there and killed a turkey pretty quick, so I was like, well, I'm gonna run to a new state right quick. And, uh, well, here I am. Oh, so let's see if we go back up this water here and see if we want to hear a turkey, because I think it's sort of gonna be hard to get two places. Oh, uh, ain't no guarantee we're gonna hear a turkey, but don't know you try it, so let's see what we can get into here. Alright, I got as far as I can go with a little boat. Uh, one thing I like about it is you get back here if you wouldn't have been on that side. Gotta walk in this way. You gotta go a long way to get around. Uh, so if I get on this side and I hear one over here and I come back to the boat, paddle across, get on that side. It sounds like there's a bunch of beaver dams up this thing. So let's go see if we find a turkey out. Y'all, you find ground that can grow trees like that right there. You can grow big deer too. Got good soils here to grow a tree like that. That's, a, that's one big pretty white oak right there. Stand here and I heard a, like a dog barking at me. Here, I see you pretty good as a coyote. He got a good wind, he can't smell me. Just my wind falling back this way. I'd have my gun off my shoulder. I might have could have shot him every once by. I never had a cow bark at me before. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you a little tip about water, y'all. Uh, I always find where it's coming out of the ground and it's usually it's good to drink. You definitely want to drink it if it's a beaver dam or something above it. But so you hear it's coming, coming out right here. Let me get my water bottle out and refill it. That's some good water there. Got a good taste to it. Like I said, I've never had that, I call it punk disease or whatever it gives you the diarrhea. Luckily, I've never had it, uh, but I've always tried finding water where it's coming out of, out of the ground. So let's keep on going. I just keep working my way up this holler. I call it every 100 yards. Maybe I'll get one strike up here. Just a little, little bit of old sign. Anytime you get around a beech tree, they see any turkeys been in here. Like I said it's old, it's back this winter. But there have been some turkeys in there, just have to find what they're feeding on now. Oh. Just, just keep on going. back here. I looked how far I've been. I've been two miles. And I believe I hear one over there. Or it could be a woodpecker. Hey, you hear that? Doo -doo 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 -doo. It's just I got water running below me down here and I can't really hear that good. Let me get around here on this next point. Like I said, I started shedding clothes. I got warmed up. Maybe that's a turkey. There's a, there's a drain goes up that other side of where it's 
sound like where it might be. Let's go see if we find a turkey. Oh. <clears throat> I'm about sure there's a turkey goblin. That's about three times. And it's that direction. I've sat here and looked. Maybe he's in that big holler over there. Let's, let's go after him. Oh. You know, down here in the bottom, boys, the habitat changes a lot. There's a good nesting area in here. Good bed in there for deer. I marked me a spot up this holler. Where I think it was, so I'm gonna go to that spot. Set and hope that I can hear it. I'm getting to where this holler's opening up good. There's all kind of turkey scratching right here. So I feel like there will be a turkey in this holler here. Let me sit down right up here. Get my camera out. That bird could be here closer. It could be good ways. Better be safe and sorry. I'm a camera on the tripod and everything. I better go ahead and load up with these right here. I got one more left. So I'm gonna kill a turkey with a seven and a half. I just sent that call and I knew I kept hearing like a purr. And she popped up on the hill there and I got the camera on her and I thought it was recording. I looked down and it wasn't recording. I got her sort of walking off. Oh, that gobbler's got to be somewhere up his straw. Or a gobbler. So let's just take her time, keep easing a little further. I think we can ever get in this comfort zone and he'll gobble. Like I said, I think I found the turkeys ate a lot of fresh side in here. I didn't find none across the other side. There's, this is all since it rained. It just rained probably less than two days ago. <laughs> what I'm finding, beech trees, the inner scratching on these beech nuts. beach up through here is where they're going to be. There's definitely a bunch of scratches right in here. <clears throat> One thing about coming through here, I've been finding several scrapes. I've been marking them. I mean, I never come back in here again. But if I ever do, i got them marked.
Oops, I'm all set up. Put your hope right in here. I'm all set up right in here. I'm gonna try something here. A turkey gobbler up there. First time he gobbled. Then he went and got in his bottom on me. So I'm gonna go back up there to where he gobbled at first. And call. It's made him think, man, him hands went to where I was at. So let's try that. Oh, I think it's time to move. I'm getting I'm getting bored. I'm sitting here watching an ant. <laughs> A little old grub around. Amazing how strong them suckers are. I didn't even catch the call. He just gobbled right off where I thought he'd be. I think what I need to do is circle around and get a get a head up. I'm gonna mark it where I know where he's at in the holler. I'm gonna circle around and get above him and drop off in the holler with him. I'm getting on the other side, see the ridge top. He's way off down in the bottom. I'm sitting on this side. I'm gonna get a couple hundred yards above him and come back down to it. I got a little draw. It goes down this big hill. It goes to the little small drain. I'm probably a couple hundred yards above him. Let's just work it down. Get in the bottom, be patient. Maybe a goblin, let us know. But I got him marked. He began moved up down the bottom on me. And, and he ain't moved a lot the last several hours, so let's see if we get out of here. I'm about to get down in the main holler. Trees boat over here though. Get around them. All right, I finally got in the holler. Get these scratches. I believe I can give me the right spot. Make it lucky. Oh, he just gobbled for me. He's right here so I can get a little bit closer.
that you didn't want handed. <laughs> I know why I got it. Gosh, that was thick. I can see that sucker. He seen me move my hand uh, to try calling him that way. That's one thing I like about a short gun. Because you see me just one handed and shoot him. Smoked him too. Mm. Uh, let's go look at him. That was an all day hunt. I knew I wasn't going to get much footage of him in here because it's too thick. I seen him move around over. I thought, well, maybe he'll come out right here. Because I have my decoy over here, hoping. But he might have popped his head up right there and took off. Uh, but I sort of dumb my hand like that to throw my sound that way. He must have seen me. He heard him start putting. And I could see him there. Maybe the camera could see him too. I couldn't, I couldn't turn without bumping the camera. So I just... <laughs> So we're one handed and got him. He didn't even flop. Well, he ain't 30 yards at the most. So, <sighs> all right, Indiana down. Yeah, you know, if you watched my last show, killed that bird in the evening, killed this in the evening. Mm. Let's, let's just check my tracker and see how far I've been. <laughs> I know it's probably ain't right. It's showing 6.7 miles. 6.2 miles. I know something still a lot. It sort of sickles back and forth on readings. <clears throat> I'll track myself back out. I know it's probably at least a three mile hike back out here. Turkey down though. Mm. That was a fun hunt. Just had to stay with him. Just had to stay with him and circle got around on the back side of him. Yeah. That's wanting it there now. That's grinding one out. That's just staying with him and grinding him out. Let's go look at him right quick. Like I said, I was sitting up against that big tree right here. You're looking down at his angle. That's that's what I look like. And he was right over here at this tree. Oh, he come up. I thought I needed to be over in these big trees where I could see down that hill. But I got it. Look how thick his stuff is. standing right here. I seen him two or three times and I thought, well, if he'll just come one way left or right, I get him. And lucky, he turned and went to the left right here. And come across this opening here. Right there. That's like a big old bird. Yeah, he ain't 30 yards more shot him, but here look at all the feathers here. Oh yeah, good Indiana bird. Good one. Get the camera up here. Y'all look at the beard on this thing. Look at the beard. Dang, I bet that thing is 12 inches long. Oh, look at him, look at him. This is the best hooks all year. He's, mm. Get you a shot of him here. Good ones. It's old bird. <laughs> he was sharp, sharp, sharp. That's by far my best bird all year. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, you seen what I've done. Long show, but I basically laid it out. I had never been in this block of woods before. Oh, I knew it looked good. I knew it had a lot of ground to to move around on. Uh, like I said, 11 o'clock his bird gobble. And he was up on that hill and he come down. And he just shut up. I took a nap on him. I moved up the hill. Like I said, 434. Probably shot him 420, 4, 425. Uh, like I said, I just stayed with him. Uh, that's one way to kill these old, good, these old birds. 
I just I didn't really call a lot. He finally got gobbling. I thought he was gonna try getting up the hill, and he did. He get up here where he, he could see. Oh, uh, if I'd have got right here, he'd have come on around over up yonder on me. But yeah, <laughs> that is my fourth state. Uh, public land grind. That's what I wanted to do was kill four. I may kill more than that because I, I still got some time to go. And y'all, I got a hunt that I'm gonna do for some of y'all out there this year, this time. Uh, I've done it before. I'm gonna do it again this year, but I mainly want to show if any of y'all ever wanted to go out west hunting or uh, elk hunting, deer hunting, them tags are getting harder and harder to draw. But this one right here, this tag is pretty much in buy over count for right now. Bear hunting. I'm gonna go spring bear hunting here. I'll be out there in a month from now. Uh, end of May. I'm gonna probably go the last week of May. Uh, the 20th to the end to the end of May. Uh, and it's more of a spot and stalk with a rifle. Uh, I may go turkey. I'm planning on going turkey hunting out there when I'm in Montana too. I'm gonna give me one of them mares with white white tail tips. Oh, but man, look at this old bear. He is a good one, good one, good one. Oh, but yeah. How many y'all would ever want to do a bear hunt, a spot stalk bear hunt in the springtime? Oh, like I said, there's several states you can buy tags over the counter. Oh, like I said, I killed a big bear in Montana crap long time ago, probably 25, close to 30 years ago. Oh. And it was, it was fun. Uh, but I really want to show some of y'all, because I think there's some of y'all that's been wanting to go out west. Here's a good starter hunt, y'all. It's, it's sort of the same principle as getting up high, glassing, uh, like elk or deer, either one, feeding out any, any high meadows. Because uh, what you what you do on the bears is uh, when the snow starts melting, when that, they, they follow that tender grass up after it starts coming up. Uh, so. Leave me a comment on the bear hunt. How many of y'all want to see a bear hunt? Because I've not got my bear tag. I done bought it, so I'm going. Oh. But y'all, let's get back to the turkey here. Ooh -wee. Man, this is a good and good and good. Oh. Now it's time to get this baby out of here. So let me pack him up, get a few pictures here, and like I said, I close the show here after a while. Let me I always think about something else when I walk out, and I got a long walk out of here. Oh, like I said. Ah, y'all, that's what I like about that pack, y'all. I can get everything in it. I got turkey decoy camera gear. It's gonna be a low, but it, it, it fits you back good. I said, so let me mark. I'm gonna stop my track right here and I'm gonna remark going out. I'm curious to see how, how far it is out. <laughs> it's probably three miles. And there's several hills I gotta pull too, so I, it is what it is. I even get out of here before dark. Like I said, it is five o'clock. Let's see how long it takes me to get out of here. That ain't good. I might not got my boat. There's my oar. I done walked. Three point three seven miles. There's somebody out there, and I hope they ain't got my boat. <laughs> 